Hey everyone. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about a topic you've probably heard of, right? It's been trending over the last few days and no, we're not talking about Mario Kart 9 or Nintendo Kart. I mean, maybe we'll briefly have a small conversation on that at some point in this video, but we're actually talking about what's coming next from Nintendo in terms of hardware. And it's not because you need to worry about it this year, at least based on recent do we even call them reports? I think they're more like predictions. Uh, however, I do say that uh, there's some interesting stuff to think about here on why Nintendo might wait so long before we get any more new hardware for them and why it could make sense. And also my concern if they wait too long. Uh, so for those who don't know, Dr. Sirkin Toto from Katan Games uh, had a little interview over at GameIndustry.biz where he gave a bunch of predictions and analysis for video games in 2022. And one thing he was asked about was obviously the Nintendo Switch Pro and if that is going to be a thing. And he basically said, in his opinion, that uh, Nintendo's abandoning any sort of Switch Pro idea that they may have possibly had and will be releasing their next gen platform, whether it's Switch 2 or whatever, in 2024, which if you do the math, considering they usually release systems at the end of the year during the holiday period, that gives us nearly three years. It's about two years and eight months or so, uh, maybe nine months that, yeah, we would go without having any more new hardware from Nintendo. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. And by the way, I don't know that this precursor is necessarily like releasing an updated Switch Lite that uses an OLED screen. I don't know that like that's impossible to exist during this time period. But the idea is there wouldn't be any new significant piece of hardware between now and then. It'd just be iterative or minor upgrades to currently existing stuff. Hey buddy, how you do? Whoa, um, I'm sorry, you just, you just caught me and SpongeBob having a moment. Um, you can have a moment too by uh, subscribing to the channel. We're actually giving away $100 in cash money to new subscribers here in the month of January. Uh, so yeah, basically you subscribe and get a chance to win 100 bucks. So why the hell not? And we're talking cash money, like tangible. Spend it on whatever the hell you want. I don't really care. You want to get the latest Pokemon Legends Arceus or something later this month? Cool, do that and have some money to spare to get some lunch. All right, maybe maybe get your girlfriend or boyfriend a little, a little something nice. Maybe pay some bills. I don't know. What's your money? You do with it what you need. Uh, we're also giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So uh, yeah, to enter that, there's a pin, there's a pinned comment uh, with a, a link to a Viral Sweep uh, to enter for that. And everyone can enter that. You don't got to be a new subscriber for that. But uh, yeah, isn't he cute? Now, why would this person say this? And why should we even care what this person has to say? Well, for starters, Dr. Sir Toto has a really good track record with his predictions. Uh, he's been in the industry a long time. He works directly in Japan. He's also the person that last week uh, we referenced in the same article saying things like he knows Mario Kart 9 is an act of development and will have a new twist, which you could say, hello, news at 10. Da da, there'll be a new Mario Kart game, you know, the best selling game on Switch. And oh man, it's gonna have a new twist, you know, like every single Mario Kart game. He's not out there pretending that this is some unique thing to say. He's just saying that he has knowledge, obviously, that it's in the works. And the idea of Nintendo working on a new Mario Kart game isn't shocking. Hello, this one came out, what, eight years ago, basically, at this point? So yeah, obviously, they have a new Mario Kart game in the works, and it could be a next generation launch game. Although, I guess if the next gen's not for almost three years, I guess it could still come out now and get a deluxe version then. I mean, it worked out really, really well for Mario Kart 8, but then did it work out well because nobody really played it on the original Wii U to, to so to most Switch consumers, this is the platform for Mario Kart 8. I don't know, right? That's more of revisionist history and trying to figure out what if scenarios. What we do know though, is that he's predicting that the next generation Switch will come in 2024. And I find this to be an interesting thought process for a number of reasons. For starters, the idea that there won't be any other major revision of hardware, no 4K Switch, no Switch Pro between now and then. And you might go, well, Nate, what does this mean for all of the reports that happened last year from more reputable outlets such as Bloomberg and Eurogamer and Digital Foundry and everyone in between? And what I can say is, well, an interesting point was made at the end of one of Bloomberg's articles on this very topic last summer when they talked about the potential of the Switch being unveiled right before or during E3, where Takayashi Majizuki put out there, by the way, 
Nintendo might never release this 4K system. It was right at the end of the article, so I can't blame anyone for missing it. He noted that Nintendo might never actually release this platform because Nintendo has a number of platforms and a number of devices in development, some of which have been announced publicly, such as the quality of life sleep device, or you can go all the way back to the Wii Vitality sensor, but they showed off at E3, and then the product never actually comes out. So even when a product hits developer's hands, it doesn't mean it's going to be here. Now you could say that was just obviously Takahashi Matsuzuki hedging his bets, playing both sides of the pond, being like, look, I think this thing's going to happen. These people have have dev kits, this, that, and the other thing. But also, just because this is a thing doesn't mean Nintendo will ever actually bring it out. And that could be the case now. If a Switch Pro did exist, which I firmly believe Nintendo's at least looked into one, at least thought about it, um, it's possible Nintendo would decide, you know what? The Nintendo Switch rocked it last year and has an amazing lineup this year that's likely going to guarantee the Switch sells another 24, 25, maybe 26 plus million units this year if they can keep up with demand in terms of making enough units. Remember, Shintura Furukawa did warn us that there is not enough units to start this year. Who knows if that's going to slow down or get better anytime later. And then obviously next year, we have no idea what games are coming next year and what Nintendo could use to market and push the system in 2023. But presuming Nintendo's normal cycle, if they have a big year now, next year would be probably the start of the downturn of Switch. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it won't sell 20 million units. In fact, Dr. Sir Contoto basically said, yeah, in 2023, Switch is still going to sell 20 million units. Although it's going to be, you know, down sloping, you know, basically this is it for the peak year of Switch. And then we're going to be kind of going down from there. And then Nintendo's going to bring us a new product in 2024. But we'll have to wait and see how that trend plays out. I'm also very curious how Nintendo lines up their software because I really, really, really hope we don't see the last year and a half of the platform with basically no games. Nintendo basically abandons systems just like that. I really hope that they decide to cross generation it up a little bit, make everything fully backwards compatible, and obviously don't abandon the whole concept of the Switch. I, I do worry that Nintendo sometimes abandons ideas or doesn't expand upon them quick enough. I think, you know, with the motion control stuff, they probably should have like started looking into VR or something like that. Nintendo didn't go that route. And now that they have this concept nailed down and while there's competitors out there, nothing's quite as successful as Switch. I really hope that they continue this. Also, if they wait until 2024, you can just kind of imagine the sort of hardware that could be available to put in that system for say $300. So if they want to keep that $300, sweet point you know there's there, there's going to be a number of options for nintendo to do that and give us some really great performance so there's a lot of things to kind of consider just in what i said right there uh as for my thoughts on all of this look i don't know what nintendo's going to do i have no inside information i don't know a single employee at nintendo i did have a contact at golan harris one time he no longer works there golan harris by the way isn't Nintendo. It's Nintendo's PR company. It's the kind of people you would go through to say, I don't know, get review copies of games if you're not part of the Nintendo Insider program. Or it's the kind of people that you would go through to say, set up a booth tour at E3. If for those who don't know what a booth tour is at E3, basically you have to be have media credentials. You set up this tour, you go to the Nintendo's desk at E3, and they have a Nintendo employee, usually from Golan Harris, um, walk you through Nintendo's booth and, and talk about the games and show off things. And then they take you off to a private area where you're able to play pretty much any demo you want um, without any restrictions. And what I mean by no wait times, and if you have the equipment with you, oftentimes they'll let you directly record the games even. So if you brought your laptop with and you've got you know a portable uh, thing, you can actually directly record. Sometimes they let you capture the audio, sometimes they don't, it kind of depends. But yeah, it's, it's basically a really, really neat thing. And you would go through Golan Harris for that. That's cool. But to be completely honest, um, I don't know that person anymore because they don't work there anymore. I think they work at Activision or something now. Uh, so I don't have any contacts at Nintendo. I don't know anybody there as far as I'm aware. So I can't confirm or deny any of this. I don't know anybody in their manufacturing line. And I don't really know any developers that are currently at the moment working on new hardware, like making games for new Nintendo hardware. I know nothing. So this is coming from a complete gamer perspective. I wanted to frame this as Guys, I'm just a YouTuber like you guys. I'm just a gamer. I don't have this information. I'm just talking about information that's publicly available. And what I can say is, 2024 just feels like a long ways away from new hardware, doesn't it? My number one concern with Nintendo is repeating the past. Getting to that mountaintop like they are now and just falling right off because they wait too long. 
There is some thought out there, of course, that you could release too early and sure that could be a problem, but if there's going to be a next generation switch, why not 2023? Now, again, this is just a prediction and it might not come true, but he's actually got a really good track record with his Nintendo predictions. He predicted things like the Switch Lite. So he actually did predict things like the Nintendo Switch would come out around the end of fiscal uh, year 2016, 2017. So um, he's gotten a number of predictions right over the years. So he's obviously a bit more in the know because he does have some real connections. But again, he is always careful to remind people he's just an analyst. He helps investors and, you know, he's got direct knowledge of Nintendo, but he's not going to divulge anything super, super crazy. He's just going to give his thoughts, his opinions, his educated guesses based on the things he's heard. So, yeah, he's got a bit more weight behind what he says than I do. Hence why a bunch of YouTubers are covering him. But let's just say this. A Nintendo Switch 2, a Nintendo Switch 2, next gen Switch in 2024. I'm kind of strangely okay with it. Now, part of this is because I'm already happy with the way Switch is today. Now, there's a number of you out there that want better performance, better frame rates, uh, better resolution, but there's also 100 million plus people owning Switches right now that most of them seem to be pretty content with the way things are. We have an amazing lineup here in 2022, maybe even only further boosted, like bolstered by the fact that there could be a Mario Kart, if not this year, next year. Like there is a number of factors in play here to tell you that, you know what? With or without new hardware, 2022 is an amazing year. It's 2023 that we really don't know about, but should we even worry about something that is basically more than a year away from us needing to even think about that stuff? So I don't know. That's just my food for thought on, on that. Um, I'm kind of good with this either way. I would obviously love for a Switch Pro to exist and have there be a between system. If there isn't one, it's cool. Um, Nintendo Switch is continuing to be really popular. My only concern is when is Nintendo going to stop making games for it? And are they going to admit, stop making games for it too soon? I want to see them put their best foot forward on this platform all the way up to when the new one launches and then go from there. Anyways, we'll see what happens down the line. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video.